Culinary Campus hosting us all morning long. Mark Beatty has been our tour guide. Mark Beatty, you know, I'll tell you what, you've shown us some great things. Where are we right now? We are joining our second year students. Okay. Uh, this is our culinary perspectives class. Nice. They're actually the ones responsible for doing the majority of our lunch business. Okay. They, they are at the height height of their skills or working towards the height of their skills as it is a two-year program. Nice. I'm going to bother Michael right now. Uh, Michael, what are you working on right now? Uh, we are working on the portion of the spaghetti for spaghetti, turkey, pesto, meatballs for lunch. So with, the, with this week, it's all pretty much student creations. So this week we're working on student creations for the menu items for all of lunch. And um, yeah, one of these came up from the student, his name's Harvey. And again, it's a spaghetti, turkey, meatball, pesto. So it's pretty cool. We portion them all off just so it's speed of service. Because at the end of the day, it's still lunchtime. People have like deadlines to do. So we got to make sure that we're fast and efficient and all that good stuff. I think that's something I'd like to underscore, something I've learned here this morning at the culinary campus is you can have a passion for food, think you know what be, would be on a good menu, but in the real world, it's timing and it's just like it says on the back wall here, sense of urgency. And that's something that I think maybe could be surprising to some of the students even. Oh yeah, like uh, especially for before you come into your second year, you do your internship and it really opens your eyes into the real world once you come back from your internship about pretty much a sense of urgency, speed efficiency and just how you have to get stuff done and at the end of the day it's all about getting it done. I'll let you get back at it Michael and I'll ask you this Mark, uh, something we talked about off camera which I found fascinating. SAIT is a big school. Lots going on at SAIT. Yes. And you guys partner with the different programs to make this come to life, to make it as a real world experience as possible. Absolutely. It's, um, you know, as many student hands that can touch the product is the more learning we can embrace. So the meats that we use go to our butcher and charcuterie management program. They butcher it. We take a few deliveries a week down to here. Same as soup class. We have a class at main campus doing soups. Those soups are brought to us. Cakes and pies that we offer in the bakery is a class up at main campus as well. So it is all the classes coming together that allows us to make this come, come together and make it happen. Very cool. What an intense program. What a great facility. Open from 8 to 4. Come on down, get your lunch or maybe a nibble for breakfast. And then evening courses open as well. So pop by the State Culinary Campus. Find out what they're all about. Kind of eye-opening and always delicious, you guys. <laughs> Did you try one of those double chocolate croissants? I'm working on that. That's on, next on my list. Oh, Are you right bringing now, I'm going one through back, it. though? That's the question. <laughs> I'm, go I'm going through the whole pastry cabinet, and uh, cameraman Nick was all about it right away here. Was it the peanut butter what cook cookie, peanut butter cookie you had? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, not me. It's good stuff. Not very bad. Cool. Okay, thanks very much, Andy. Uh, thanks. We'll see Andy back here in studio tomorrow. Yeah, cameraman Nick likes the cookies. Does he like the cookies? Yep. Who doesn't like a cookies? A well-fed cameraman cookies. is a happy cameraman. We're going to tee up tomorrow's show after the break. Stay with us.